All right, you guys, uh, we're gonna do a peanut butter protein frappuccino today. Uh, this is one of my favorite breakfasts to have. Uh, definitely filling, definitely with the caffeine, with the coffee, uh, gets you that extra kick. So this is a great kind of pre-gym or just one of those things you wanna throw together in your Vitamix uh, and then head out the door. So the machine I'm gonna be using today is the trusty A3500. Uh, again, you guys, if you like videos like this, want us to keep making more videos like this, hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe. That way you get notified when we come out with a new recipe, tip, trick, things like that. Uh, even modifications that I do to recipes uh, for my own personal taste. So we're gonna be using that A3500 today. Uh, love this machine. This is one you'll see me use in my demonstrations. Uh, it is the top of the line Vitamix. Um, love it very much. Definitely worth the money, especially how long you're gonna be having this machine. Uh, the container that I'm going to be using on this, uh, this would normally be an accessory that you would purchase for your A3500. It's the 48 ounce uh, container. It's short, so it's kind of like the 64 ounce one where this can uh, fit underneath your cabinet easily for storage. It uses the same tamper stick as the 64 ounce container, so that's kind of cool. You don't need to have an extra tamper stick or anything like that. Simply put, pop that on in there like usual, okay? So I'm gonna be using this one because I'm gonna be doing a small portion uh, with the narrow bottom. This, in my opinion, just blends a little bit more efficiently uh, than the wide base. You can certainly do this in the wide base one. This one here I find is just gonna do a little bit faster and a little bit more efficiently, okay? So let's go ahead and put this together. So the peanut butter that I'm using uh, today is the PB Fit uh, peanut butter powder. Um, and then I have the uh, protein. You can use your protein of choice. This is vanilla flavored protein. Um, we have the milk, cocoa powder, and instant coffee, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the liquid. And so I'm gonna use 12 ounces of milk. And you'll see here, there's a measurement marker right there, 12 ounces. So that should be easy enough to measure that out. Perfect. And then you can start putting in the powder ingredients in any way you want to. There's no particular order you have to put those in. So we're gonna use a instant coffee, pack it right here. Boom. Two tablespoons of the cocoa powder. Now this is sweetened cocoa powder, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you're using the unsweetened cocoa powder, you might wanna add in 10 ounces of milk and two ounces of your favorite coffee creamer, sweetened coffee creamer, okay? We're gonna add in two tablespoons of the PB Fit. And you can see we're kind of doing heaping tablespoons there. All right. And with the protein mix, it actually comes with a scooper. And this will even tell you on the protein mix directions, add to 10 to 12 ounces of uh, liquid, water or milk. So we're gonna take one scoop there, boom. and one and a half cups of ice. All right, so let's go ahead and toss the lid on. Set that onto the base of the machine. You can see we have the screen saver going on there. We're just gonna turn that dial and go ahead and wake it up. There's a little frozen dessert setting right there and we're just gonna push that. So this is gonna be when you're making like thick uh, ice creams, frappes, and this is gonna run a cycle of 35 seconds. Let's go ahead and press play. All right, beautiful. Let's go ahead and get a cup here. Look at that, breakfast is served. Total, this is gonna make about 24 ounces. So 
a large 24 ounce cup, or if you want to split that up over two servings, this would be perfect. Mm. Awesome. All right, you guys, try this at home. Give you that extra kick of the protein and the caffeine together. Chocolate peanut butter protein frappuccino. All right, you guys, cheers. Mmm. <laughs>